A lot of you guys in the coin world know exactly what this book is. Some of you don't, and if you're just starting, I would definitely listen to at least what I have to say, take into consideration. Now, this is the Cherry's Picker's Guide to Rare Dye Varieties and Errors, stuff like that. It's the fifth volume, so it's half cents to nickel. Um, pay attention if you're going to buy one, because each volume is a different coin set. So if you have a specific coin that you want, go for that volume. Now this is a good book. It's packed full of useful information. I mean, and they've done a pretty good job of keeping this off the internet, keeping it wiped. So they almost have it to where you have to pay for, you know, to get the book. Now, these books are like 300 bucks, 250 to $300 used. I don't even know how much they are brand new. I didn't even look at 300 bucks. Um, was it worth it? I did pick up some good information in it. There's a lot of good stuff I retained from it. Um, the pictures are great. And, you know, if I don't have my digital device or whatever, this is a, this can always be a go-to. But I don't suggest buying the hardcover. Buy the digital version and pull it up on your phone or... You know your tablet your laptop whatever you're using the hardcover way too much money and I just don't feel like the information stored in this book is worth that much um, you could piece this book together you know if you really really tried you could just with information that you pick up here and there someone's done a good job of putting this together so I'm not knocking that whatsoever it's a great book just just go for the digital version um, they've overpriced, they've outpriced this book just way too much. I mean, anyone starting out, you don't want to spend that kind of money because you're not going to have this kind of stuff. You're, you're not going to be, you know, and unless you have a lot of disposable income, 300 bucks for a book is not worth it. The digital version is like 15 bucks. Now, I was stupid and naive. I'm like, oh, I'll just get the, you know, I'll get the physical copy because I like physical copies of books, but... It, it really wasn't worth the money that I wanted it. I didn't want it. I, sh I wanted it too bad. I should have just bought the digital version and a, a new tablet or a Kindle or whatever. But overall, good book. It's definitely use useful information that you're going to need. Definitely save you a lot of time not getting ripped off. Stuff like that knowing what you're looking for you know these things come in handy because not everybody goes through the dye varieties not everyone knows that stuff so you can go to like a pawn shop and grab a bulk set of coins and you might find a valuable dye variety in it it's very possible that's how i've gotten a lot of mine was just going through stuff or getting you know going to the bank and buying a bunch of change and sitting down and spending the time and going through it i mean a lot of time a lot of effort involved but you do find them out there and this is one of your key components on knowing what to look for.